Top 10 Ghosts, Call on Camera, Light and Shadow. Gavin Lloyd was alone in his basement, attempting to record a video of the new lighting that he had installed to show his friend. Later, when he looked back at his footage, he discovered that he had captured more than just his lights. So I got these new lights to put in our basement. I got them at Walmart the other day. Here's a blue one. Uh, so there's that one. And then over here, there's a blue one, or a red one, I mean. And that's how it looks. It really looks cool. So there's that one. And then over here, a shadow figure seems to be standing motionless in the corner of his basement. But just moments later, as he pans his camera back to the same corner, nothing there. So is this a ghost accidentally caught on camera or just a trick of the light? A step too far. This next strange video was filmed at an allegedly haunted house in Salt Lake City, Utah. The woman who lived in the home claimed that she had seen and heard some truly unexplainable things. So her son decided to spend the night in the house to try to capture the activity with his infrared camera. When he checked his footage, he found something truly bizarre. strange white shape of what almost looks like a child seems to walk from left to right at the top of the stairs. He says that he didn't see the odd figure at all until he played the footage back later. So is this a ghost caught on camera or just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The Girl in the Woods. Italian YouTube channel PIT, Paranormal Investigation Team, are investigating an allegedly haunted forest in the remote Italian countryside. They believe that the ghost of a little girl named Matilda haunts these woods. A local hunter claims that he saw the terrifying apparition and that the little girl ghost appeared to be covered in dark bruises from head to toe. They soon locate the area where the hunter encountered the girl and two PIT team members spot something. Avrà fatto questo sentiero. Tremo. Okay. Ma lei non era nel sentiero. No. Sicuro? Lui avrà puntato da qualche parte per tenere d'occhio qualcosa, come se fossimo noi qua. No, la luce. Raga, ma di nuovo, ma te lo giuro. Ah, ma te lo giuro. Ma te lo giuro. Ma grossa così. Fascio di luce, sì. Fascio di luce, ma bianco, ma. Io ero puntato verso di te, perciò forse ce l'ho in camera. Ma a me sei venuta in mente una cosa. Io ho dei brividi. They hear the unexplained sounds of twigs breaking and rustling bushes all around them, seemingly leading them somewhere. That's when they find a long abandoned house, far away from any pass, completely hidden by vegetation. They start asking questions, and team member Debbie gets an answer. Si nasconde. Puoi farti sentire? Raga! Cosa? Cosa? Raga, raga! Cosa c'è Debbie? Dove? L'avete sentito? Ma no. Oh, riascoltiamolo, eh. Riascoltiamolo. Guarda. Cosa? Cosa hai sentito? Non Debbie? vorrei sbagliare, ma mi è sembrato di sentire qualcuno piangere. Sto scherzando. Assolutamente Pianto. no. Raga! 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 Matilde, stai piangendo? The team no longer feels like they are alone in the woods. They try to communicate with the ghost of the little girl, attempting to convince her to show herself. And this is when things get truly chilling. Te lo richiedo un'altra volta. Perché non ci indichi un posto? Dove possiamo stare con te, possiamo stare da soli con te. Un posto 
magari più appartato. Di nuovo quello di prima. Che roba era? Simo, dietro di te. Ah, ok. Vedi qualcosa? Ma ragazzi ho sentito un rumore, eh? Ma di dove? passi. Anch'io. Anch'io, di nuovo, quello di prima. Paura. No. Noi non siamo mica venuti qua per farti del male o per, per crearti dei problemi, anzi, te l'ho già detto. Abbiamo anche del... Possiamo giocare con te. Possiamo... darti delle caramelle. Cacca! Cacca! One of the cameramen falls on his back as he captures what looks like a little girl standing alone in the abandoned woods. They check the area, but can't find anyone. Or anything. Non è possibile, non è possibile, non è possibile, non è possibile. Oh! Non c'è niente qua! Non c'è niente! So, is the ghost of a little girl with a tragic past still wandering around her old house? Or is it something else? Lights out. Musician Aiden Ayers often uploads comedic sketches and videos to the popular app TikTok. However, these next two videos are very different from his usual posts. You see, Aiden claims that his house is haunted. Watch. You see that? What the f***? What the f***? Tell me I'm not a f***ing crack, dude. Hell no. What the f***? Dude, I'm out of here. Hell no, bro. Every time Aiden turns off the lights, the shadowy figure of a girl wearing a dress can be seen standing in his room. She then comes closer and closer until she gets just a bit too close and Aiden runs. Now it definitely bears mentioning that this video is very similar to the popular viral short film and movie Lights Out. So is it a ghost or just another creepy TikTok hoax? You decide. Did you see it? Reddit user Chris and in this bizarre video that his sister captured at his grandmother's house. Chris says that his grandma often complained that the ghosts of two children haunted her home. A young girl named Sally and a little boy named Thomas. Visitors to the house would often experience objects being moved on their own or be awakened in the middle of the night by strange sounds. Creepiest of all, Chris's grandmother claimed that the two child ghosts were scared of the sinister spirit of an older man that also haunted the house. So one night Chris's sister decided to sleep over at his grandmother's house. She says that around 4 a.m. she woke up to the feeling of being watched. Remembering her grandmother's creepy stories, she got out of bed to check around the house, recording everything. Did you see it? For some reason, a small oval picture frame is gently rocking back and forth on the wall. Not only that, but Chris and some Reddit commenters believe that in the reflection of the picture frame, you can see the face of a man with a beard. They say he's wearing sunglasses, or some even say he has no eyes at all. So could this be the mysterious male spirit that the ghost children are scared of? Or is it simply an optical illusion? It certainly could just be pareidolia, but I think I actually see what looks like a face. But what do you see? Let me know in the comments. Schools out. Two Peruvian students are hanging out at their school after dark. They record the school grounds as they explore and joke around with each other. But something truly chilling catches their attention. Oh, that, 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 oh, 
Por. No, no, que chivolo, voy, vamos a ver. No está huevón, no. O no está huevón, no. Sara. O Yara, no. Puta madre, no, no voy a ver yo. Oh, vamos a ver, mierda. Ah, puta, no sea huevón. Uh, concha tu madre, se abrió la puerta, weón. Oh, 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 Corre, lucha de mierda. Vamos, ya, huevón, tienes que ir con mierda. ¡La madre! ¡Ah, oh, 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 conche tu madre! ¡Oh, lucha, corre, conche tu madre! ¡Dónde vas? ¡Oh, oh, oh, oh conche tu madre! Oh, ¡Vamos! ¡Corre, vamos! Abajo. ¡Corre, vamos! Abajo, oh. ¡Corre, conche tu madre! ¡Oh, lucha, no está huevón, no, yo! Ay, Lucho. Lucho, no. Lucho. Lucho, no. The lights turn on and off, doors open on their own, and chairs are being thrown all around. After this terrifying experience, they decide to just make a run for it. YouTube user Dark Alias posted this video to his channel and many viewers requested that he return to the school late at night to capture more paranormal footage. However, Dark Alias outright refused. He says he will not stay at the school after dark ever again. Something in the closet. Kathy Gallinger mainly uses her TikTok account to upload cute videos of her cats, her cockatiel Jasper, and her dog Lucy. But on April 22nd, she posted a disturbing video about the closet in her bedroom. Okay guys, I heard a noise coming from my bedroom again. It starts with just an unexplained bang in the closet caught on camera, but it doesn't stop there. Kathy's dog Lucy starts to act very odd around the closet doors. Okay guys, so I came in my room, heard a noise in the closet again. Closet's open. The dog hasn't left. Lucy, what do you hear? Okay guys, so I heard a noise in my room. The dog is sitting in front of the closet that I believe is haunted because I always hear noises. And look at this, the closet is open again. Okay, so there was like a scratching noise and the dog took off. Um, <clears throat> there is absolutely nothing, nothing. There is never anything in our closet. Kathy sets up an infrared camera to record overnight to try and capture the closet doors moving on their own while she sleeps. When she checks the footage the next day, she finds something shocking. As the closet doors open on their own, a strange white mist seems to exit the closet. Then, on the night of May 2nd, things get a bit more intense. So I'm sitting here reading, and earlier I shut the closet doors so you can see they're shut. But I'm hearing scratching and I'm freaked right out, and the dog took off out of the room. Oh my f***ing god! 
To see more of Kathy's closet haunting, you can check out her TikTok account, Kitty38. Invisible Friend. YouTube ghost hunting channel, Ghost Stalkers Paranormal Investigations, say that their house is haunted by the ghost of a little girl named Anna. One day they were filming their youngest son playing, and they captured some creepy footage completely by accident. Did you see it? When slowed down, you can see what appears to be a small translucent figure running by at superhuman speed. The paranormal investigators believe that this is the child ghost that haunts their home playing with their son. But what do you think? Attic Panic In a recent investigation by YouTube ghost hunters Mindseed TV, paranormal investigators Casey Nolan and Tanner McBride travel to an old abandoned mansion in South Alabama. The estate dates back to the early 1800s and local townspeople claim that the house is extremely haunted. It is said that the unexplained screams of a woman can be heard coming from the empty home at all hours of the night. The last known family to reside in the house was a newlywed couple and their two young daughters. The family tragically lost their lives in a fatal car accident. As Casey and Tanner investigate, things start to get a little weird. This, yeah, I'm in a stairwell right now, actually. You said you, you got an attic? Hey, hold on, hold on, shh. What the f***? What the f*** is that? Dude. Hold on. What is that? What the f*** is that, bro? In the corner there. It's a record player. What the hell? Yeah, how did this just turn on? What? But the two ghost hunters were capturing even more terrifying paranormal activity that they didn't even notice because something seems to be creeping around the house as they investigate. What's that? I saw the reflection of your uh, flashlight in the mirror in the front. Yeah. It made it look like somebody with a flashlight was on the other side of the room. There's movement in an empty hall closet, but Casey says that he only noticed it later while reviewing his footage. But there's more. Watch closely as Casey notices strange handprints on one of the windows. Warren, dude, it's like a monsoon. Oh, is that little handprints on the window? Dude, it's like yeah, little, little like little finger drags. That's weird. See that? Yeah. Did you see it? Casey doesn't notice, but it seems like a small, pale hand can be seen reaching up to claw at the window. Oh, is that little handprints on the window? Casey and Tanner head upstairs to investigate, and this is when things get truly bizarre. Does it sound like, oh my, do you hear that? That sounds like and my flashlight just fucking died. In the attic. What the f God damn it, my flashlight won't turn on. What the f They hear someone walking across the attic floor. So they head up into the attic to check it out. But they find that the attic doesn't even have a floor for someone to have been walking on just a series of wooden beams and a few planks spread across them. So just what could the odd footstep sounds have been? There's no time to consider the matter as Casey and Tanner hear something else in the dark attic. I'm not seeing anything. Hey. Yeah. Do you hear something? Wait. You hear a woman? It's like a whimpering. Is that from up here? It sounds like it's coming from over there. What 
What is that? Let's get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Let's get out of here. And with that, the guys just decide to make a quick exit from the creepy attic. You can watch this full investigation of the creepy Alabama mansion and the second part titled Haunted Mansion Part 2 over on the Mindseed TV YouTube channel in midair. TikTok user Mama Dab shared a strange video that had paranormal believers and skeptics arguing over its authenticity. Now, skeptics say that the video is in reverse or that the balloon is attached to a wire. So, Mama Dab uploaded another video to try to prove to skeptical viewers that the paranormal activity is real. Here you go, everyone. No visual effects, no audio, just straight video. Send it down, Steven. Send it back. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> now, this could just be some sort of trick using fans or wires, but these popular videos have been suggested in my email so many times that I just had to give it a spot in the list. Whether it's real or just a hoax, I'll leave that for you to decide. Thanks for watching. You can submit or suggest videos for the top five at nukestop5 at gmail.com and tweeter me on the Twitter at nukestop5.